What's up? It's Christmas Stone Fox Media. And 3, 2, 1, 1, 2, 3. What the heck is bothering me? You guessed it. Once again, Uncharted 4 has been delayed again. My first reaction was a uh, shock because I was just laying in bed, just perusing the internet. That's probably why I look a little tired right now. Just perusing. And then all of a sudden I see this and I'm like, pardon? Excusez-moi. Well, it looks like their reason is that they want extra manufacturing time. They want to make more games. So Sean Layden decided that he's going to come out there and he's going to talk for Naughty Dog and PlayStation Blog. And he did say, in an effort to meet considerable worldwide demand and ensure that all gamers worldwide have an opportunity to play the game. We have chosen to postpone the launch of the game by two weeks to allow for extra manufacturing time. He did also make another statement saying that, well, we know that the news might be disappointing and we are sorry to make you wait a little longer to play Naughty Dog's latest. The good news is that the game is phenomenal. We are carefully confident that we don't care what you have to say, Sean Layden. You mean to tell me that they have taken extra time to delay a delay of a delay and they forgot one important thing? See, that important thing was to, what, what was it, what was it, what was it? To order the disc to put the games on. They just forgot. They want to make sure everybody has a chance to get the game. Ain't nobody got time for that. We don't care. Just make just enough to get by. I know what you're thinking. It's just two weeks. It's not that long. It really isn't that long. But come on, man. You forgot to make the disc. Just, I don't know. Just put, just put it on some CDs. We'll have like 10 CDs like the Final Fantasy VII game. Whatever. I'm just a little salty, everybody, right now. I'm just a little bit salty. Because I, I literally woke up out of bed like some kind of like vampire, like like some Negro pie. I just, I got up like, oh, you just don't even know. You don't even know. I want to not play this game, but I know I'm going to buy it anyway. I'm going to buy it. You're going to buy it. We're all going to buy it. We already know we're going to buy it, so we might as well not even complain about it. We just accept it. Thank you, Naughty Dog. Appreciate it. Now, moving on from that, there's actually a glimmer of decent news out there. So it looks like Microsoft is considering an upgradable Xbox plan, and it may indicate the end of console generations. Now, uh, I knew about this before. I did do a video about it when uh, Sony was actually discussing the possibility of introducing a more powerful PlayStation 4. Of course, I think they elected against it. And, of course, Phil Spencer came out there in the last couple of hours, and he did introduced the same idea where Xbox is actually considering making an upgradable Xbox One. Uh, he did make a statement saying that we see on other platforms, whether it be mobile or PC, you get continuous innovation that you rarely see on consoles. He also said that consoles lock the hardware and software platforms together in the beginning of the generation. Then you ride the generation out for seven or so years. And then everyone else is kind of doing cool stuff where you see PCs being able to be upgraded and cell phones constantly moving forward. And that it is kind of looking like everyone may be considering the possibility of having a console that can last years and you just upgrade it. Now, I think that this is a great idea. I think that if Sony, Microsoft, even Nintendo, should they be so inclined, decided that they want to make a console that you literally just swap parts out. Now, I'm not talking about hard drives. I'm talking about like slap new chips in, add in new RAM. You know what I'm saying? It's something really cool like that. I know it's not going to last forever, not like a forever console, but at least something that can last like, I don't know, 12 years, and you can constantly just slap in new parts. Oh, I got a new getting GPU. Let me just slap that in there. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think that would be really great. I think the industry would love it. They would have to find some way to simplify it because, we, of course, we don't want, like, random people who don't know anything about computers going, I don't know what this is. Let's just plug it in and see what happens. I mean, we definitely want it to be easy, like, put in a Super Nintendo cartridge, even though that wasn't easy because you technically had to blow on the cartridge in order to get it to work. I I don't know what happened with the quality assurance, but somehow blowing on it worked and no one knows why everybody knew about it. It was like no social media. It was just like, hey, dude, blow on it. But 
that's a story for another day. Now, my final bit of gaming news is uh, actually somewhat exciting, everybody. It's exciting. Can you see this excitement on my face? Can you see it? Okay. It looks like Nintendo decided that they are going to announce another Nintendo Direct tomorrow. That was fast. Now, we all know about the Pokemon debacle where they literally talk for five minutes like, Pokemon, everybody, after not talking to everybody for like months. But yes, they have announced that they are actually doing another Nintendo Direct tomorrow at, yeah, 2300. If you're army time, that's like 11 o'clock. So I don't even know if that's like at night at their time or daytime at our time. I got to do a time conversion, everybody. I just woke up. But... I'm excited about this because this may actually be them talking about the NX. They may talk about it, everybody. This, this, this could be the NX. This could be the moment we've been waiting for. Like, this is our new NX controller. This is this is all the information you need to know to get ready for this whole entire thing. We'll show you more E3. This is going to be the moment, everybody. No, it's not. You see, they just made a statement saying that the Nintendo Direct will focus on the Wii U and the 3DS games coming out this spring and summer I don't understand why this company has this great product that is supposed to be getting hyped up and they're hyping it down they're hyping it down everybody all they have to do is just give us a little bit of information to make people want it but the more they talk about other things like the Wii U, the more people don't want to buy the NX. So throw everybody a bone. I mean, give everybody a, a screenshot of the of the power brick. Anything just to show us that this console actually exists. That would be nice because right now I'm I'm getting sick and tired. I'm, 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 I'm disappointment, everybody. The disappointment today. Well, that's all news I got for you guys right now. Like, subscribe, follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook. You know as soon as my news becomes available. Thank you guys for watching, and I will holla at y'all later. Thank you guys for watching my whole entire episode. I really do appreciate it. Hit that like and subscribe button, and after that, go to my Stone Fox Media store. Get cool things like shirts, iPhone cases, you name it. Uh, you got mugs. There's nothing in the mug.